Have you ever seen a tennis ball get completely squashed? Well, it's pretty cool and it's made possible by the power of liquids, also known as hydraulics. Hey, I'm Andy. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about water? Is it ocean waves or raindrops rippling a pond? Or is it something a little more extreme? Yeah, this is definitely not the first thing that came to my mind, but I kind of wish it was. It's common to associate water with things that are serene or peaceful. But when pressure is applied, like with these jets, water can be very powerful. One of the most useful ways to use water, and other liquids like it, is in hydraulics. Hydraulics move heavy machinery around using trapped liquid. And what makes a trapped liquid so powerful is how it deals with pressure or something pushing on. Here, I'll show you with this syringe. Right now, the syringe is filled with air. And if I push the plunger, the air comes out. If I put my finger on the end, I can still push the plunger down, even though I'm keeping the air from coming out. That's because the air becomes compressed. And you can tell it's compressed because when I let go of the plunger, it springs back into place. Let's try it again, but with water instead of air. If I block the end with my finger and push down, the plunger doesn't push down easily. That's because water is a liquid, so it doesn't easily compress. Instead, it transfers the pressure from my push to the entire surface of the container. If I keep pushing, all that pressure comes rushing out. Oops, I'll clean that up later. What you just witnessed is a principle called Pascal's Law. Who is Pascal, you may ask? Well, he was a French mathematician, physicist, religious philosopher, and master of prose. What didn't Blaise Pascal do? Okay, back to his law. It says that any pressure on a trapped fluid is transmitted equally throughout the fluid. So if you press in on one end of the syringe, that push goes through this whole tube and pushes the other end out, like this. This is basically the same way hydraulic machines get their power. The pistons that make these machines move are like giant syringes. If you push on one part of the fluid, that push is transmitted to all the other parts. If you set up the machine right, you can end up with a ton of force transmitted from just a tiny push, and you can lift super heavy things. Hydraulic machines are used to lift cars, building materials, or even people. Remember the soon-to-be smushed tennis ball? That was the handiwork of a machine called a hydraulic press. These machines are used for crushing cars, thinning glass, and making swords. There are a bunch of other types of machines that use hydraulics to get jobs done. Construction vehicles, ferris wheels, and elevators utilize the power of hydraulics. Even some animatronics in movies and at amusement parks use hydraulics to bring lifelike movements to these amazing machines. Now that you know a little more about hydraulics, you can experiment with this science at home. With Tinkercrate, you can build different types of hydraulic machines like this claw. Put your new knowledge to the test, and let's see what you can create. If you want to get this crate, check out KiwiCo.com. And if you're itching to make a hydraulic machine with materials you might already have at home, watch our video here. We can't wait to see what you create.